bump, bump, bump your friends, bump, bump, bump your friends. If they say they don't like it, it really means they do. Hello everyone, my name is So Mungry. I say hi to you, and I'd like to welcome you back to SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. In this episode, we're doing two things, actually three. Number one, bump your friend, even if he's not your friend. Just go bump a stranger, it's okay, and then you can say he was your friend later. Just didn't recognize you, right? Number two, going in a box. Perfect. And number three, we're going on a teeter-totter ride, baby. Oh yes, I cannot wait. It's gonna be glorious. I stand here, and watermelon will go there. Woohoo! And hopefully this takes us to where I want to be. Please, please take me to where I want to be. Oh yeah, this is where I wanna be. Right here on the pier. Oh yeah. Bring him the bob of the sponge. Real nice. Get the light, get the light, get the light. Is that not the right light? This must be the right light. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's the right light. It looked like Patrick on there, like wearing like a baby diaper. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Wait, where did that come up? That come up right here? Oh, we're going to go on a ride. We're going on a ride, fellas. Whoa! What's up, Larry? Congratulations, SpongeBob. You're king of the beach. Here, have a golden spatula. Thanks, Larry. Yeah, we're king of the beach, baby. So we did it! I believe we beat the zone. Thanks for your help, SpongeBob. You're welcome. Alright. We did it. We got all but one in there. Two. No, one. We got all but one. So we did pretty good. So let's get out of here. Oh, we get to go to the Poseidome? It's gonna be awesome. Alright, so I'm gonna cut forward and we're gonna see you guys back near our home. Ah, uh, welcome back to the World Hub where you can do many things like talk to Plankton, but forget him. Let's talk to Krabs. Your treasure chest's looking a bit light, boy. Do you think I've got bilge water on the brain? I ain't running a charity here. Come back when you've got enough shiny objects to trade. 4,000? Oh, I'm pretty close. Okay. So I got 26. I went to the Goo Lagoon. Been there, done that. Been over here, done that. Been over there, done that. Alright, we're going here. We'll talk to Patrick first. Did you find my lost socks? Not yet, Patrick. Oh. Did they find... Alright, we heard that before. <laughs> All right, out we go. So this is gonna open up our new area. Booyah, it's gonna be awesome! I cannot wait. I have brought you to here to face a great challenge. I've got nerves of steel and muscles of sand. And eyes of jelly. My Poseidon has been bleached by a mighty foe whom you must fight. Bring it on, your highness! Bring it on! In this corner, defending the Poseidome, a small square guy! <laughs> and his challenger! A huge murderous robot shaped like a squirrel! Look, it's a giraffe! Uh, I think I need to get home to feed Gary. Okay. Taking on the giant squirrel. We're gonna show King Neptune who the champion is. And it's probably the squirrel, run! Looks like the robot left itself vulnerable. Okay, I have to strike it then. And this fight will prove the age old question that soft and squishy always defeats hard and metally. <laughs> yes, you guys have been wondering that forever, I know. So we're gonna prove it right now that I win. SpongeBob has an opening, but will he get the drop on the robot? I'm trying, fish! Oh, that's got a sting! 
Yes, stings worse than the jellyfish. Stings the pride deep down. <laughs> Come on, robot Sandy. Put up your dukes. Put up your dukes. Fight fair. Okay, I gotta jump that and then hit. She got a lot of health though. Going for these undies. Come on. Come on. You're just a robot. A murderous, cold hearted robot trying to just rip me into little bitty sponge pieces. Can't we just be friends? <laughs> a bubble bounce would really come in handy right now. Oh, a bubble bounce. That makes sense, because bubbles hurt metal. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, news anchor. Thank you. Alright, she's giving me the people's elbow. And the karate chop. That's not working. Got her! Booyah! That's one. Only like 28 more to go. Come on. You're just a robot. Now the robot's taking a beating out there. Nice. This is like the best boss fight. <laughs> we can get her. We can get her. The robot better change tactics and bad. <laughs> okay. Patrick's in. Come on, Starfish, you can do it. The old clothesline move. It's a good move. Like classic WWE right there. Alright, Patrick, your time to shine. Booyah! The robot's losing its head. Can we throw the head? Oh, there's a news anchor. Oh, we threw it right back to her! We don't want to do that! <laughs> I think we want to throw it into the machine over there. Okay, come on, Sandy. I like that Like those little wires are from her legs. That looks cool. You got nothing, squirrel. Alright, pop off her head. We could throw it at King Neptune. Looks like Patrick has a big opportunity here. All right, into the machine. What a shocking takedown by Patrick! Let a boy starfish. Patrick Star becoming the star we all knew he could become. Right before our eyes, it's beautiful. Just a robot. You're just a robot. Whoa! Almost got clothesline. Come on, Sandy. Nice. Get up. Booyah! Get to the head. What does that say on the bottom? Boom or something? Oh! Nice flying uh, head thing move by Patrick! Thank you, news anchor. I think you summed it up great. I love SpongeBob's picture in the back. <laughs> and the crowd's just going nuts, too. The crowd just going wild. Because <sighs> Patrick is dominating. Oh, I got her. I got her. Oh, yeah. Come on. Get the head. I should throw it at the fish. I wish I could. Can I? I don't think so. We'll throw it over here. Or can I? Oh no, it just goes back to her. Okay. Messing around too long. Alright, Sandy. This time I'm not gonna mess around. I'll throw it right into those circuits. And King Neptune. He's just up there like, huh! <laughs> He's not gonna win. He's not gonna win at all. This robot, I got money on this robot. 
It's like he's over there controlling the robot. All he has to do is press the off switch and it's no longer a threat. So he just goes and makes bank off this fight. Just a swindler. He's like, yeah, little fishes. Just uh, bet on SpongeBob and Patrick because our kingdom is doomed if they don't win. D just ignore this on off switch that I'm holding here. It's not the remote to that giant metal sandy robot. No, nah, no, nah, not at all. Oh, that was fun. Your turn, SpongeBob. Oh, ah. Uh. Wee. All right, SpongeBob's back. Crowd's going crazy again. Come on, Sandy, what you got, girl? The old clothesline move. That was good, Sandy. I'll give you that. All right, pop her head off. For a guy literally filled with openings. Oh, what an uppercut! Oh yeah, right to the kisser. <laughs> One more uppercut. I'm gonna knock her head off, just like I were in Mortal Kombat. Come on. Oh man, that's close. We got undies though. I guess two more uppercuts. Come on, Sandy Bath. What you got? Just a robot. I can do this dance all night. Come on. But I'd rather dance with your mom. She's a lot more shiny than you. <laughs> Here's my opening. Nice move by SpongeBob. This match is just about over. Oh yeah, SpongeBob. You will be the champion. You hold up the belt, baby. Oh yeah. Nice. And I did that flawlessly. Oh yeah. King Neptune's loving it. Thankfully, because it's his kingdom, he's not only the king, the queen, but also the bookie, so he can change his bet. <laughs> okay. Let's not get cocky here now, robot squirrel. Alright, alright. Woohoo! I just gotta avoid this. Did it. Oh yeah. That's pretty much it. Winner, winner, Krabby Patty, dinner. Well, that was quite a battle. Tell him what he's won, Johnny. It's a new power, the Bubble Bowl. But wait, there's more. A golden spatula, and that's not all. A gift certificate for $5.32 to Dean's Little Shop of Dried Fish Flakes and Flowers. Oh, thank you. It all means so much. I... I... I promised myself I wouldn't cry. Cry all you want, but not here. We just wax the floors. Nice. We won awesome things. That is great. That was a cool fight. I really enjoyed that. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hey, Plankton. Yes, what is it? I was just wondering why all the robots seem to be coming from inside the chum bucket. Have they? I really haven't noticed. Uh, yeah. And then there's that big flashing neon sign that says, Robot Headquarters. SpongeBob, I'm your friend, right? No, not really. Exactly, and as your non-friend, I worry about you. Like right now, you're thinking too much. I'm worried you might really hurt yourself. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna think for you. This way, you won't hurt yourself, and you can just keep working on getting me into the chum bucket. Thanks, Plankton. You're the best non-friend a friend could have. No more thinking for me. Huh. Thanks, Plankton. And thank you guys for watching. Next time, we're going to explore this area. See you guys all then. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe for more. Also, click the screen for more awesome videos over at Bro Have a great day.